50 million fire making experience. That's what I got up to last episode as I continued my hunt for the 1 in 10,000 dragon eggs from Wintertot. It's the one item I still need to greenlock Wintertot and as long as that doesn't happen I cannot move on to a different page on the collection log. Time to find out what happened in 3 months of being stuck at Wintertot. Now join me as I take on the collection log once more, except this time I will do it one log at a time. This is extreme log. Just noticed, uh, after logging in, in case you were wondering, we have now reached 25 days of total playtime, which is like 10 days at Wintertot, so that's pretty cool, I suppose. And we are up to 1,800kc already, and FanDuel got his first Crystal Armor Seed. Let's go, grats FanDuel. 1,800, let's get 200 more before we open crates again. Unfortunately, the worlds have not been in a correct rotation for a while now, so I can't be doing any hop tot, which I would love to do, because that speeds things up quite a bit, but we're stuck in one main world, which is fine as well, I guess. And now we're already at 1850 kill count, over 52 mil fire making XP, so I think we might even get to 55 by the time we have 2000 kill count, but I guess we'll see how much we end up with. So I'm just finishing a pretty solid hour of Hoptot right here, and I'll put the XP per hour on the game window for a second. You can see right here, 390,000 fire making XP in an hour. It is so good. I also got 20k fletching, 11k woodcutting and 4.5k construction XP. And I'm pretty sure I did about 20 kills because I think I banked 10 supply crates last trip and 10 again right now. So that means we got at least 40 loot rolls as well compared to say the 30 you get an hour from solo. So it, it really is very good if you can get the rotation going f with the uh, several worlds. Sometimes they don't really sync up properly so you can't really do it all the time. But if they do, it is so so nice to uh, just hop between the worlds and get all these quick kills and all the XP. 1,900 KC. At least the kills go up quickly with Hoptot. So we'll have the 2,000 KC in no time and then we can open some crates again. Every level we get nowadays feels so big. There's 83 fletching already. That is only two levels away from the fletching level I have on Generate Task after playing for like four years. So just getting this from only cutting the Bruma roots at Winterthal, it's just amazing. And we'll probably get many more levels. 1950 kill count, just 50 until the next opening. And we're 54.2 mil fire making XP now. And there's 55 million fire making XP, 14 kills until we do the opening. All right, everyone take a really good look at this environment because this is the last time we're ever going to see it on this account. We hit 2000 KC and that means it's time to go and open the crates. Ah, it's so nice knowing that I'm about to get the Dragon X and I can just leave. This is going to be great. You know what? Someone just suggested to go to a different bank, so maybe we should try that. How about we go and open them at Barbarian Outpost? Let's do that. Nice and calm place to get the Dragon Axe. Here we go. Let's see that beautiful red hatchet. Give it to me, Jagex! Oh my god, Tome of Fire number 7. There it is already. Not what we need, let's just keep going. But that's always cool to see, I suppose. Over 100 opened already. No Dragon X in sight just yet. Let's just keep opening them. Hope for the best. Not that many Pyro pieces yet either. That is only the second one right there after 180 crates. All right, that is 200 now. On to the final 50. And looks like we got the first Dwarf Wheat Seeds on the account as well. It looks like I miscounted. I guess I didn't have 250, but 244, I think? I, I don't even know. But that's not a Dragon X. That, that is not what we needed. We did not get what we need. It's time to continue, I suppose. <laughs> it's fine. Again, we're not even close to the drop rate. 55 mil XP. Plenty of room 
to still get it. As long as I get it before 100 mil, I'll be super happy. Let me just put it out there. I'm perfectly fine not having it yet. As long as I get it before 100 mil. After that, it's gonna become a real test of my mental. But until then, I'm okay. I should start farming a bit more again because I've been slacking a little bit on that one. But uh, yeah, let's get that moving as well. Oh well, more winter tot on the way. A nice little milestone for the crafting level coming in. 55, always nice to see a round number ending on 5 or 0. We can now cut dragon stones and make dragon stone rings and slayer helms. So that's pretty cool actually. And just like that, we're back where I said we, we would never return. But, you know, I guess, I guess we'll just stay. It, it do be nice here. You know, the people are quite nice in the northeastern corner of Winterthought. I guess I can get used to it for a bit longer. I think the plan is probably to just keep opening every 250 crates moving forward because that's a nice little um, pattern we can follow I suppose and there's the first 50 again for the next opening 200 to go back up to 100 crates already well on our way to 60 million fire making xp Another skill has reached the elite ranks of level 80 plus. There's 80 woodcutting. Already the fifth one on the account. Very close to another fletching level as well, so that's coming right up. 2150 total winter tot kill count. And there's the level I mentioned earlier, 84 fletching. Hey, I actually waited a little bit to see if a random event would spawn and there's a beekeeper which is one of the random events we still need so let's go and get ourselves another luck slot. First one in a while to be honest. And there we have it, the beekeeper's gloves, number 110 on the collection log. And that means we only have one more beekeeper item left, which are the legs, and just three items left on the random events log. Unfortunately, still including the stale baguette as well, of course. We're getting closer to the next opening. This is going to be 2,200 kill count. Just 50 more to go. And there's the 60 million fire making XP slowly creeping our way up to the actual drop rate. We're about two thirds of the way there now, I think. I haven't really calculated the amount of rolls I've done ever since we hit 50 mil XP, but I'll probably do that once we get closer to like 90 or 100 mil. But maybe we don't have to get there, who knows. Always nice to see though, another 10 million fire making XP. Yay, we got another construction level. That one creeped up on, on me because I wasn't really paying attention to it anymore. And I don't think I'm going to make this kill now because I was <laughs> trying to get my recorder up but it is what it is 72 construction that is two levels since we started the mass world kills again so even though it's a lot less xp than the solos we are still getting some decent xp into construction as well we are just short of 61 million fire making xp but there's the 2250 winter tot count and that means we have 250 supply crates again it's time to dive in it's always so nice to look at this tab with all the crates, but then the disappointment slowly starts setting in once I do start opening them and they just dwindle away without giving me the axe. But hey, maybe, maybe today will be different. One day it will be mine. The beautiful dragon axe. Well, there's tome number eight. 200 crates opened, only 50 remaining. <sighs> We've come to this point again. Where, unfortunately, we are still stuck in prison. Yep, no Dragon X. No third pet yet either. It is what it is. Let's keep trucking through. 2500 KC coming right up. Maybe? No. 59 Herb Lore. We can now clean Snapdragons. Let's go. And I have just enough supplies to reach 60 Herb Lore there. That was all the herbs I had for that session of Herb Lore training. And we already have over a thousand prayer potions, almost a thousand super attacks as well. Very, very nice. Stacking up those. The grind goes on and on. We have 2300 KC, 62 mil fire making XP. So whenever the worlds aren't in rotation for me to do the hopping method, I've been hopping these stones for a little bit and that actually got me an agility level now, 68. I could definitely have like 70 plus already if I did this more at the start of the grind as well, but I guess I just couldn't be bothered. But now that I've been here, I've been, I've, I've considered just doing this as well, because I may as well instead of just waiting AFK for the next kill to spawn. So maybe more agility levels on the way, we'll see. 
Up to 2,350 kill count. Just 150 until the next opening. The fletching level is reaching another massive milestone here. Level 85 already. We can now make magic longbows. Look at that. Level 85 just from Winter Tot. Amazing how many levels we're getting here. 2,400. Another woodcutting level coming in as well. 81 woodcutting. Lovely. Always nice to see the extra levels. Does make you wonder how high will these go before we get the Dragon Axe? Who knows, we might even get some 99s before we're done here. Yo, no way. 65 million fire making XP. Wow. 50 crates to go. Woo, we did it. 2,500 kill counts. You know what that means. 250 crates at the ready in the bank. One of them, Dragon X. Let's get it. All right, let's get it going. We're a nice company. Surely this will be the one. Let's get started. Yet I just got an Osmumpton's Fang. Let's get the Dragon X. Oh my god, I got a third Phoenix! There's no way I got a third Phoenix! Are you kidding me? <laughs> On the first inventory! Oh my god, that is just silly. That is just a bit silly, isn't it? Three Phoenix? No way, dude. Oh my god. <laughs> well, I'm sorry to anyone that is going for the pet and is dry for that one, I guess. <laughs> well, let's see if we can also get the axe now. That would be crazy. And there's the full set with the hood as well. Another legs. Another tome as well. What an inventory. Holy moly. Tome number nine on the account. That is an insane inventory right there. Two pyro pieces and a tome in just 10 crates. Imagine if I actually do get the X in this opening. That would mean that I've pretty much gotten the entire log again in just one opening of 250 crates. Because we literally got everything else. Another tome? There's no way! Tome number 10! Oh my god. Well, I guess in the last 10 crates, I, I, I don't expect it anymore. Let's be honest, it's been a crazy opening, but I'm not gonna get the X as well. We're no closer to the end. We are no closer to the end, but our collection got some new additions to it. All the numbers went up, except this one. This one is still at zero. I guess we can trade in two sets again, because I have four in total. So let's get two more full set crates. No Dragon X in those either. Based on my lifetime score, I just did the quick calculations. Should be around 7,760 rolls in total now. So over three-fourths of the way there now to the drop rate of the Dragon Axe. Time to use some supplies again that we got from all the loot. 56 crafting. 61 Herblore. Let's go. Ah, shit. Here we go again. <laughs> Damn, actually... Just got a magic level just from all the teleporting on the farm runs. To be fair, I'm already 47. I think soon I'll probably just get 51 so I can use the Arty teleport to go to that patch. And I might also just do Ghost to Hoy to get the Ectophil. Brother men, we can rejoice. 75 farming. We can now grow magic trees. This is gonna skyrocket my farming level even more because I have so many magic seeds from Winterthal. It's gonna be great. We'll be 80 in no time. And we're back to another 100 crates banked. Zoom in. 150 more to go. I just noticed this, but my bank value is 69.2 mil. And my fire making XP is 69.2 mil. I don't know what to do with that information, but I'm just putting it out there. There's no way. Look at this level. Oh my god, it's 73 construction. Who would have thought? So when people ask me, why fletch? Well, because I'm already 86 now. From only fletching. These things at Winter Top. 86! <laughs> Ugh, 70 million. Fire making experience. 2700 Casey. 50 until the next opening. Also, shout out Choji and Rare Daniel. Always nice to see people here that say they love the series, so I appreciate it. <laughs> see, now this is exciting stuff. A baguette from the sandwich lady. Hmm, it's a normal one. What a shame. Also, I just got 77 farming already. With the magic seeds, it's flying up there. I'm gonna have 80 in no time. And woodcutting, leveling up once again. 82. 
I've walked this path many times already, but here we go again. 2750 kill count, that means 250 crates to open. Alright, it's time. Will we get a fourth pet? Will we get an 11th tome? Or will we get the coveted dragon axe? <laughs> the third inventory and we already get tome number 11. Already 150 opened, 100 to go. After that tome, not too exciting. Two pyro pieces and that's it. It's not looking great. Down to the final 20 again. Can we at least finish a pyro set? Just need one more item. I think the boots is what I'm missing right now. Do we get that in the last 10? Not even a full pyro set in that opening. Unfortunate. One tome of fire edits to the collection. I guess we go all the way to 3,000 now. It'll be a nice round number to end on, so the next opening <laughs> might be the one. Who knows? Yay! Crafting level coming in. I'm so happy. <laughs> 57 crafting. I can now make my own green dragonite fan braces. Let's go! And also 62 herb lore. Just about made that with the herbs I got, so that is also nice. No unlocks from that, but that's fine. Was close enough to another cooking level after cooking all of my tuna, so figured may as well finish it. There's 69 cooking. Don't pay attention to the burned lobsters on the floor. Those were just an accident, I guess. Well, look at that. 75 million fire making XP. We're up to 2,883 KC, so that means we have another 133 caskets already. So over halfway to the next opening. And like I said, every now and then when I can't do the hop dot method, I hop the pillars instead. And there's 69 agility already now. Let's get on the way to 70. Another massive level here. 87 fletching. We can now fletch magic shields, finally. I've been looking to make some of those for a while now. 87 already, that's insane. And with that, we say rip bozo to Winterthot for the 3,000th time now. 250 crates. Will it be the last ones? I think it's a nice number to call it a day. Let's hop worlds. Let's see what we get. Here we go. The boys are joining us. It's time to finish this grind once and for all. Also, shout out to whoever it was that commented on why I didn't just change it to 10 when withdrawing the crates. I did it, okay? I hope you're happy now. <laughs> Pyro Boots, that concludes another set that we didn't finish on the last opening. We're over halfway already. It just doesn't feel good, man. Every single time I just get sweaty hands. I'm just hoping to see the Dragon X, to see the collection lock pop up, but it just never happens. 200 opened. It's down to the final 50 again. And here's the last inventory. And as is tradition, we do not get the Dragon X. No tome, no pet, only two pyro pieces in that as well. That was a very lackluster opening. It is what it is. We now have... Hello, work. Okay, it's not working, but we have 77.5 mil fire making XP. I don't know what rank it is, but I think we're close to top 100. And Winterton is not working either, but 3000 KC also close to top 100. If we check the score, we now have 8994 loot trolls approximately. So close to 9000, about 1000 away from the drop rate. I guess we just keep going. I guess we'll be close to it once we hit like 3500 KC. I guess we do have one full set that we can trade in now. No axe. Squeezing out a quick herb lore level from all the herbs I had there and that is 63 now. We can now make super restore potions actually. God damn. Already up to almost 1500 prayer potions now. That's gonna be so nice to have right off the bat. Dude, I swear, it's actually insane how easy farming levels are when you have trees to plant. Look at this, 80 farming, just like that, already from just doing some yew and magic seeds from winter Todd and some herbs and snake grass and just in no time, 80 farming already, kind of crazy. Oh my god, ladies and gentlemen, this is a huge moment. I didn't finish the log, but Rain Extreme just finished green logging Winterthot at 98 million XP with the Phoenix, dude. I am honestly so happy for him. That is amazing. And he got another Dragon X as well. Well, that must mean one thing on, on our next opening. We're gonna finish as well. 83 woodcutting coming in hot. And another huge XP milestone, 80 million fire making XP. 
Oh, I just missed it because the pop-up didn't even appear because I took damage on the same thing. But there's 74 construction as well. Still getting some good XP in that and still getting the levels up even in the masses. So that's really nice. We're running out of saplings again from our batch from the Winter Winterdot Rewards. But there's 81 farming and we can now grow dragon fruit trees. Fortunately, these are the last magic saplings I have. So we'll need to get those crates stacking up so we can loot some more to keep the farm runs going. We're getting closer for the next opening. Still 56 crates to go. Let's just let's just open one just for good luck. Let's see if anything's in this one. Nope, doesn't look like it. Okay, let's keep stacking. Wow, we're very close to opening, but there's 88 fletching. Soon enough, we'll have another skill level 90 already. It's that time again where we have saved up another 250 crates to open. We are getting close to the drop rate now. We're just about 400 rolls away after we open these. So in the next opening, we'll officially be at the drop rate. Unless we don't have to get there. Well, uh, <laughs> I don't know what to say. You know, I just, I just didn't get it, did I? So it's time to just get more I guess uh, nothing worth mentioning really a maple seed wow we've not had any of those in a while that's cool yay <laughs> nice well let's get some more crates and we'll be over the drop rate after the next opening that being said we did get another full set so final chance trade it in you know the deal no axe don't quite have enough herbs from that for another herb lore level, but we did get 58 crafting, so that one is also creeping up on level 60 already. Oh my god, man, I, I was like, oh, I'm gonna get 70 agility soon, that's gonna be cool, and then I completely miss it. But there's 70 agility from hopping this stupid gap at Winterton. <laughs> If I do that for 10 more levels, I'll have done the same as I've done on my Zaya only Iron Man, because I did 60 to 80 agility on that account on the gap. But let's hope that we don't have to do that on this account. Well, kind of just missed it, but there was 85 mil fire making. Well on our way to the 90 million. Chop! Chop! 84 woodcutting. Way. And we have 3,500 Winterdot KC. 88.7 million fire making XP has been obtained. Will we have to get more? Well, we'll find out in a second. And as you can see, based on the score and our KC, we now have about 10,200 plus rolls. So once we've opened these crates, we are officially over the drop rate for the Dragon X. It's been a long time coming. But let's see if we actually go dry or if we complete it right here with the crates we have in the bank. All right, let's get this show on the road. We've got some people here to support us. Let's see if we can make it happen on this lovely Monday evening. That's over halfway again already. Never feels good. That <laughs> never feels good not seeing that X. But sooner or later it will happen and that's the moment we're all waiting for tome of fire number 12 on the account lovely to see completely useless but the collection grows tome of fire number 13 on the account still completely useless but the collection grows even more <laughs> and that unfortunately is it that is it we are dry, officially dry for the Dragon X over the drop rate without it. 13 Tomes of Fire to show for it. Another full pyro set that we can trade in, but that is it for this opening. And you know what, moving on, I feel like I might just start opening crates willy-nilly and I'll report on any interesting things happening, but I might stop doing these big openings for now. And we'll just continue grinding and opening crates whenever we feel like it. Final crate, nothing worth mentioning. I just realized we got the first grimy torsals from that one, so that's new. That's interesting. You know, it's kind of wild to think that after almost three months of Winterdot now, I'm only at one times the drop rate. <laughs> like, it's not too uncommon that people go like four or five times the drop rate for something. That would be an entire year of Winterdot and well over 200 mil XP and pretty much close to rank one as well for Winterdot, so 
Who knows? Maybe at the end of this grind, I will be rank one for winter.kc. Let's hope that's not the case, but it's not too unlikely, I suppose. Look at all these potions I already have now. 1674 prayer potions, and I'll have over 1400 super attacks as well. One more potion right here, and that is another Herdler level. 64 already. It's gonna be so nice to just have all of those ready before I even do any combat. No baguette? Then I'm not interested. Leave me alone. Uh, and we just continue farming as well. There's 82 farming. Three more levels until we can enter the highest tier in the farming guild. And I'm considering starting farming contracts. Once I do have the hard contracts unlocked, I might just spend some time pickpocketing from master farmers to get that going. Because I think that is going to help a lot with getting some more secondaries for the other herbs as well. So we can get our herb lore up even more as well. Okay, so like I said, I'm just going to start opening crates randomly. Obviously, I'm not going to record everything and, and show you guys every single crate I open. But I'm feeling good about this one because my XP starts with 88.8 .8 and 888 is like a super lucky number in China. So yeah, that means I'm getting the axe. Okay, sorry, that was, that was the biggest cope I've ever invented, I think. Uh, I need to stop doing that. Hang on, a spirit seed? Did I have spirit seeds already? Or is that the first one? Oh my god, it's the first spirit seed. No, wait, wait, what's the farming level to plant those? It's 83, so that means once I do get 85 farming, I can actually plant the spirit tree in the farming guild, and that'll unlock a much better way for me to get there instead of using the fairy ring every time. So that's actually really nice. Wow, look at that. 90 million fire big XP. We are well on our way to halfway the maximum XP cap. We'll be 100 mil XP in no time. Unless we're done right here, maybe? Dragon X? No, okay, fair enough. As we continue fletching all the logs, we have reached another level, 89. Very close to our next level 90 skill. The second one on the account after fire making. Another 100 kills done since the last opening. 3,600 now. Obviously, I have been opening the crate, so I say since the last opening. It's not like there's going to be a next one, but yeah, 100 more kills done. I was really, really close to another crafting level, so I figured I may as well cut some gems that I stocked up in the bank again. There's 59 crafting, which also means we now have 1,200 total level. Pretty nice. I'm also gonna have to make some more games necklaces soon because my last one is on like three charges from doing the farm runs all the time. So that'll give us some extra crafting XP as well, I suppose. And as we keep fixing the braziers, we still get a lot of construction XP. 75 already. Just five levels that we've gotten from mass world kills after we've done those solos as well for 70. So still good XP coming in every single day. I was just clicking away without paying any attention. 71 agility. Hey, there's the pyro boots. That concludes another full pyro set. I guess we can trade it in for another bonus crate. Bonus crate. Bonus crate. Bonus crate. Bonus crate. Bonus crate. 3,700. Monumental milestone. 85 woodcutting. Wow. We unlock nothing with that, because for some reason, se after 75, there's only one more tree you unlock, and that's level 90, and I feel like they should probably fluff that up a bit. Maybe add some more trees, you know? Make the high levels worthwhile. But there's 85. Lovely. Another step closer to unlocking the spirit tree in the farming guild. There's 83 farming. We can now actually grow spirit tree, and I could technically just go and get a garden pie, but I'm just gonna wait. I'm just gonna get 85 farming, and then we'll plant that spirit tree in the farming guild. I also got another frog token, so the collection is growing. The fruits of our labor from all the farm runs and the winter tot. 65 herb lore already. We can now actually clean Cadentine, and we can make Sanfu, Serum Cure All, and mix, <clears throat> and mix mid strength. Beautiful, just what we wanted. 65 herb lord, look at this. We will have 2,000 prayer potions already. With that being said, I'm pretty much out of Renar seeds, but that, that's fine. Because we have 240 snapdragon seeds as well that we can use for restores. Many more herb lord levels to come. 95 million experience points in the fire making skill on old school runescape. 3,800 kill count. No luck for us. Good news, 
We're only one level away from unlocking the high tier farming guild. There is 84 farming. Oops, kind of lost track, but I hit 3,900 kill count. Let's see if we have to get to 4,000. We probably do, but it's going to be nice, I guess, if it's another 1,000 on the counter. I guess the boots mean that we get another full pyro set to trade in. Not lucky. And there's the massive 90 fletching on the account. We can now make dragon arrows and amethyst darts and we haven't even left winter dot yet. How beautiful is that? Hop. 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 72 agility, woo, let's go, yeah! And after three months of winter tot, our fire making XP now has nine digits. There is 100 million XP in the fire making skill. Halfway to max XP. Potentially nowhere closer to the dragon axe. <laughs> it's nice, kind of bittersweet. I mean, who knows? Maybe in these crates we'll have the dragon eggs. I'm very close to 4,000 KC as well. 10 kills to go, so we will round it up to that. And there's the final kill for a flat 4,000 winter tot kill count. Just about 215,000 XP after that 100 million milestone as well. Let's hop worlds and let's have a gander at what 100 million XP and 4,000 KC has brought us so far on the account. How poetic would it be if in one of these nine crates we actually get the axe as well? Just to just to check real quick, our winter tot rank right now with 4000 KC is 74. And as far as fire making is considered, we are now also in the top 100. I believe about 60 k accounts have 200 mil XP. So between 100 and 60 uh, rank, there's a 100 mil XP difference. So those ranks are going to be a bit harder to climb than the winter tot ones, but we'll climb them nonetheless. In these crates, we do not get the Dragon X as expected. Of course not. Why would we? The bank is up to a nice value of 91 million already. Let me grab out some specific resources that we can go over real quick. Just look at this inventory, man. It's looking good, but also kind of depressing, knowing that, you know, we might have to do all of this another time, and maybe even another time over after that. But we have 750 sapphires, 662 emeralds, 1136 rubies, and 706 diamonds. We've got oak logs and willow logs right there. A lot of teak and mahogany logs at the ready uh, for some construction as well. But, you know, we're already close to 76 construction right now. Uh, 4,400 maple logs, 3,500 u logs, and 2,600 almost magic logs. 15,000 coal. Obviously, these ore, you know, a lot is from Motherload Mine as well and stuff like that. But, you know, right now we are up to uh, these amounts for gold, adamant, mithril. Wait, let me switch those around. Gold, mithril, adamant, and rune. We've got 2.6k raw lobsters, 2.2k raw swordfish, and 2.1k raw sharks. We've got about 800 aventos, 700 quorms, and 450 cadentines, which are some higher level herbs that I don't have these secondaries for just yet. But that's going to be a nice chunk of herbal XP as well. We have 272 snapdragon seeds. That is just amazing for some super restores later on. Almost 200 torstal seeds as well. And then we have the 6.5 mil cash, the 1,500 super attacks I've already made, and the 2,000 prayer potions alongside a casual 13 tomes of fire on the account and the levels are looking like this 1208 total 90 fletching 85 woodcutting we have 75 construction close to 76 already i'm very close to 85 farming as well to unlock that higher tier farming guild we've got 65 herblar already from making the potions that we have 72 agility from hopping the gap at winter Todd every now and then Almost 70 cooking and almost 60 crafting, which will come in very soon once we uh, get some more uncut gems and once I cook some more food. I already have that in the bank if I want to. But yeah, it's getting up there. That is pretty much all I have to report on for now. And I guess we just continue. That is three months of winter top. We have 32 days, almost 33 days of playtime now. I think we started with about 15 days. So we more than doubled our playtime just doing winter top. We're not closer to being done. We still need the dragon axe. Let's hope we can finally green log the winter top page very soon. 
you should probably just go and subscribe right now to ease my pain and also like the video and leave a comment about how I should go and kill DKs instead because the Dragon X is much more common there. Thanks and I'll talk to you all soon when I reach 200 mil fire making experience.